see if we can flip this. There we go, I think that's the right way. Perfect. All right. Yeah, it just looks kind of like we're backwards, but yeah, awesome. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Where, where are we? There we are. <laughs> How is everyone today? Here, let's go on here so we can see comments. Today I'm gonna be paying a wine deal. Yeah, let's show them. There it is. All right, we're gonna give everyone some time to find us. Oh, look at there we are, Lily. Yeah. Hold on here. Let's just get set up, and then we can. Okay, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> How is everybody today? Here, let's swipe these over so we can see. Look how much we have. I know, people are coming in. We're at 480 so far. Wow. Already? Already. <laughs> everybody say hi. Let us know who's painting today. Where are you from? How old are you? Are you excited? <laughs> I think Lily's pretty excited. Are you excited, Lily? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we'll just give everybody time to find us. Let's see if we can see in the comments here how old everybody is that's joining you today. Some people should be four five. <laughs> you think four and five years old? Yeah. Oh, let's see, we got, let's see here as they pop up. We've got Audrey, who's nine, and Ella, that's 11. Okay. We've got Jackson, that's five. See, you're right, a five-year-old. <laughs> we have an eight-year-old. And then Riley is six. Okay. We got I, Benjamin, who's nine. Like my brother Ben. Like your brother Ben, yeah. <laughs> Addison is ten. You say hi to Addison. Say hi, Addison. Hi. <laughs> wow, we are at. 840 people so far. That's the most I think we've had so far for a parent and me paint day. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and today we're wearing our Christmas hats. Yes, we have our festive Christmas hats on. <laughs> so we have Haley's turning 11 today. Oh, happy birthday, Haley. Can you say happy birthday? Happy birthday. <laughs> That's awesome. We've got people watching from New Mexico. How about from... Uh, and Michigan, I see. How about from Canada? Oh, and we have... Mia's birthday, or Maya. I hope I'm saying that right. And she's seven. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So we'll just give everyone some time to find us. We popped on a little bit early today just so that everyone had some time. There was quite a lot of interest in this paint day. So we'll give everybody time to get on and then we'll get started. We have Madeline who's five. If I'm missing you, um, the comments are coming up really super fast, but hello to everybody joining. Give us small thumbs up. <laughs> Look at how many we got. Look. How much do we have? A uh, hundred million. <laughs> I actually feel. No, no. A lot though. Like one thousand. Yes. So we have nine hundred and eighty-six people watching so far. <laughs> but we don't really start until twelve, so there's still a minute. People can still pop on and and find us. Look at my face now. 
<laughs> are you excited for Christmas coming? Yeah. Yeah? What are you most excited about? All the toys. We're getting some toy, new toys? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Bonnie says, I love painting. And there's Macy that's eight and Carly that's six. And there's Claire that's 10. Oh, we're at 1,100 people watching. Wow. <laughs> Are you shocked? <laughs> mm -hmm. We got lots of people coming in. Mom, how are lots of people want to paint with you. Because you're so good at showing everybody what to do. <laughs> hey, Mommy, uh, can I paint yet? Pretty soon. We're going to give everyone a couple more minutes still. Just because we're just starting right now at 12. So people might just be popping on right at 12 to see if we're on. Give us thumbs up to see who, how much people look is at, coming in. Look at all the hearts coming in. See? How much hearts? Just look at all of them coming up. There's one million twelve thousand. <laughs> Move this a little bit closer here. That way we can get in on the painting. I'm trying to figure this out. It's a little bit backwards to where we usually go. So there we go. I think that'll be good when we show it. Uh, yep. I just got this iPhone, so it's actually facing the right way for everybody, but it's backwards to me now. So I just have to get used to the way to move everything because I'm used to doing it the opposite way. <laughs> Yay. So if it's not in the screen for a couple of minutes, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> so we're just going to give it about two more minutes for everyone to find us. And then we'll go through the um, supplies of what we're using. Yeah, and everyone can see yours perfectly too. We'll go through the supplies and then we will start. If you see um, links in the comments, please do not click them. Um, we're gonna get some scammers today because this is a popular event. So um, people are going to try to get you to click links to either pay for something or to go to a different website. So please don't click any links. There's not going to be any links in the comment from comments from me today. So if you do see links, it's fake. It's scammers. So please don't. <laughs> don't click it. I can't stop them all from coming in. I've tried. There's no way to actually get all of them. So let's just let them do what they want to do and we'll just ignore them. And do not the paint yet. Okay, so we're just talking right now. Are you, look at your face in there. Are you bored? <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> All right. So what we'll do is we will go over um, the supply list right now and then we can start painting. So everybody should have something to paint on. It can be canvas, multimedia paper like me and Lily have, or you can have cut a piece of wood um whatever whatever you have today is great and then we have our paper plates this is what we're going to be putting our paints on do you want to show them yours okay and we have napkins here you want to hold up your napkins just to wipe our brushes off and then we have wa a cup with water that's going to be for washing our brushes hopefully we don't spill it this time last time we spilled ours <laughs> and then we have our three different brushes. So we have our small detail brush here, which is just like a small little pointy brush. Then we have our small flat head. And we have a big flat head. And we have a big flat head, you're right. So this is a three quarter inch, a half inch is fine. Just something a little bit bigger just to cover the background. Um, there will be a replay after this, right after there'll be a replay under videos on my page. Um, I'm also going to post it to my YouTube channel, which is Artistic Chris as well. So if you can't make it today or you can't finish it today, 
there will be a replay. Then we have a blow dryer here. This is going to be to blow dry our backgrounds before we paint our reindeer. And we have black. Okay, you show them all the colors. We have white. And we have beige. It looks like skin color. Uh, blue. That's like a turquoise. Yeah. yeah. And red. Wow. Awesome. Now these colors aren't uh, in stone. If you don't have turquoise and you want to do the background a little bit of a different color or the hat, if you see here, where are we? The hat is red and white, but if you want to do a different color, feel free. Um, you don't have to do exactly the same colors if you have something different. Okay. So why don't you ask everybody if they are ready to start painting, if they want to give us thumbs up or hearts or likes. I'm ready to paint. You're ready to paint? Okay. If everybody's ready to paint, let's see some thumbs up, some hearts. And hope everyone Hi, Aparna. Hi, Sistry. <laughs> Awesome. I think everybody's ready. Look at all that. <laughs> okay. Mom, so what we're going to do first, have? we have 1,200 people watching. Okay. So what we're going to start with is our background color first. So I have the turquoise here. If you're going to do a different color, that's perfectly fine. So we're going to put three different dots of this color on our plate. So we're going to do one like this. And then one again. And then we're going to do one more, but a little bit more. So we'll have the three dots there. So you go do the same thing. So two little dots and a big dot, okay? Perfect. Awesome. Good job. And then we're going to take our white here. Hi Grace, hi Isaac. And we're gonna take and we're gonna put a little bit of white right over top of that one. The big one? Uh, no, one of the small ones. And then we're gonna put even more white over top of that one there. So you take and you're gonna put a little bit of white on top of that small dot. And this one? Yep. So just a little bit over top of it. There you go, try again. And then put a more on that one. This one? No, and let's do that one, yep. Yep, just put a little bit more there. You can go more. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so what we have so far is we did one little, two little dots of the turquoise and one big dot, and then we're gonna put a little bit of white on top of one of the small dots and more white on top of the other one. And we're gonna take our little um, flat brush here, and we're just gonna mix those in. So you can take your little brush Lee, and just mix it all in so that those colors are there together. Like both of them? Yeah, but not together, just throw a little separate pile. See how mommy's doing it? So you're just gonna mix it so it makes different colors, okay? So really what we're trying to achieve here is just three different shades of the same color. So we're just going to mix that in there and then we're going to mix that other one beside it. Am I getting it, Mom? Yeah, that's good. And then you mix the other one too, honey. Am I done? Whenever it's all mixed in, when it looks like that. Okay. okay. So try to get rid of some of that white there. And then we can just wash off that brush. <laughs> you okay? Can you reach your water? Just try not to do it over top of your canvas in case you, or your paper in case you spill it. Honey. So 
So you'll see there we just have three different shades. So we have, how are we doing this here? So a lighter turquoise, a little bit darker, and then our original darkest. So whatever colors you have um, for all three. If you did red, then you can just do the same exact thing. Or if you did purple, same exact thing. We're just getting three shades here. Okay. And then we're going to take and just put a little bit of white on our plates, just separate. Okay. Okay, so you can put some white on your plate. This, stuff. this will be on YouTube later, and it will be on my page under videos later if you can't view it right now. Okay, did you put some, honey? Okay, and then we're going to take our biggest brush that we have here. A biggest fat head brush. It's okay if you don't have our kind of paint. That's no big deal. Just keep ignoring those links, everybody. Do not click those links. They're just scammers. So what do I do? So, so you dunk in the white? Yep, so we're gonna dunk it into the white here, a good amount, and we're gonna start at the very corner of our page here. So we're gonna be painting on a diagonal. We're not gonna be painting straight across. So we're gonna start here, I'll show you in one second, honey. And we're just gonna start with some white and we're gonna paint in a diagonal. It's gonna be white on white, so it's not gonna be easy to see at the beginning. So just do a little bit of white there. So just take your white and you're just gonna paint like this, okay? Like all over this? Just that much, just like that. Just a little bit. Okay. okay. So just like that, we're just painting on a diagonal, just the white. And then we are going to sort of back and forth, long strokes like that. Then we're gonna go into that lightest color that we mixed. And we're gonna grab a big scoop of that. And we're just gonna start on the diagonal here. And we're gonna keep going in a diagonal. So just painting on a diagonal, just like this. So just like this, honey. Okay. So grab your lightest color. Like this? Yep, grab a scoop. Okay. And then you're gonna go on a diagonal like this and just keep painting. Like the white on the white? Yep. You can grab a little bit more white and just kind of go back and forth. We're just making it lighter and darker. So we're just keep going with the lightest blue that we have and we're just gonna go on a diagonal and cover our whole page. And we're not gonna have the same color as the wine deal, so it might be a little bit different. Yep. Wow. And you can, all over that? All over, honey, yep. Make sure you cover it. Make sure you get a good scoop of, a good scoop of color. So we're just doing the blue still. And you'll see here, it's just gonna make, try to go like this, honey, from this side to this side, like this. Okay, okay. like that there, okay. On a diagonal like that, okay. Why do I wanna do that? Well, you can do that if you really want to, that's fine. Okay, so, so far we just have it's just gonna be a little bit lighter and it's gonna get darker. So once we get about halfway into the page, we're just gonna go right into that second color we did. So really all we're doing here is we're just gradually getting darker on the way down our page. It's not set in stone how far down each color is, so don't, don't get stuck too much on that. We're just gonna see a little bit of a gradual color change here. I'm doing blue for the background too. Awesome. We were just painting still all the way down. Back and forth using both sides of the brush, just going back and forth. Did 
This is taking a long time. <laughs> it's okay. Are you in a hurry? Yeah. <laughs> you got some place to be today? <laughs> I don't think so, miss. So you'll see here, now it's just gradually getting lighter to darker. And then when you have just a little bit left at the bottom, we just can go into our original color that we put there, which is right here. Just a big scoop of that. And then we can go even darker. And if your little ones find it easier just to paint it all a solid color, that's no big deal at all. This is a very loose paint day. We're just here to have fun and celebrate that the holidays are coming closer, something to look forward to. So any way your little one wants to paint the background, that is no big deal. Lily's got her own thing going on here. That's completely fine. Okay, so make sure it's all covered, okay, miss? I just want to put some white. Sure. Make it lighter. Just make sure you have it all covered, all this, this, and this, okay? So get some more blue and just cover all this in. Okay. Okay? I want to some more. You want to mix some more white into it? Yeah. Okay, here, let me help you out. Okay, I won't make it Here. bigger. Mommy will mix some for you, okay? That way it's easier for you. There you go. So scoop into there and get that all covered. The whole background has to be covered, okay, miss? Penny says, hi, Lily. Hi. <laughs> So we'll give everybody some time to finish painting their backgrounds. Now, when you're done painting, give it a quick blow dry because we have to have it dry before we move on to the next step. Acrylic paint dries pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead while Lily's still painting the back of hers and I'm gonna blow dry mine and then we'll blow dry hers and then we can move on to the reindeer. You get all your background done while I do this, okay, miss? Blow dry yours. There you go. Just watch your plate doesn't blow away. Here, I'll hold your plate while you Is do it. Is it this one? Uh, yes. later that. was that blowing away too yeah just don't put the air on there just put it straight down okay like that yeah just hold it straight down yeah okay can, turn it on can you help me do it yeah can you turn it on for me
So, so far all we've done is we've just painted the background and we blow dried it. We're still gonna give everyone a few minutes to get this finished. So don't rush, don't feel rushed at all. We're just, we'll just wait it out for everybody. Um, in between each step, we will just um, wait for thumbs up so that we know when you're done. So no, there's no rushing. Uh-oh. <laughs> you want it back on? And I'll move this back here towards Lily a bit so you can see this reindeer the whole time. There we go. Is anybody else having a hard time seeing the screen? I see somebody said it's black. Can you please let me know in the comments that you can see us okay? If anybody is seeing black, just refresh your screen. Maybe something just happened on your end. This painting will take about an hour and a half to do. We should be done around 1.30. Okay, good, a lot of people can see us. Okay, if your screen's black, just try to refresh your page or go out and come back in. Okay, great. Okay. So I'm just going to give it another minute. We'll just hang out. Just let me make sure everybody catches up that way. Some people I'm sure are painting with five and six kids. So by the time they blow dry everything, it might take a little longer. But after we're done blow drying this, there shouldn't really be any more blow drying to do. So we could just keep going. If you don't have a dryer, you could even just kind of like blow a paper at it. Acrylic dries pretty fast. Um, as long as it's not soaked, then you sh you'll still be okay. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely use glitter, definitely. So how many people have snow right now where you are? Do we have snow right now or is it melting? Oh wait, no, the blinds are shut. <laughs> I think we still have some snow, but it is a little bit warmer now, so it's melting a bit. No, no, we have no snow, I don't see any. You don't see any? Maybe it all melted. Maybe that's frosty I'm seeing out there. So the paints we're using today, this one's just from the Dollar Tree. So this is just acrylic. This is a really good paint uh, for a good price. Like if you're not looking to spend a lot and you wanna paint a lot with your kids or even for yourself, this is a good brand that's pretty cheap um, with decent coverage. And then the other one I'm using, this is more expensive. This is kind of a toss between a paste and a liquid. So um, you're gonna be looking at probably five or six dollars more for the same amount of paint but you're gonna be getting a better pigment and more coverage. So that's just the two we're using today. This one I get off of Amazon. You can get this off of Amazon or you can get it off of um, the Michaels website or just go to the Michaels store. Yeah, so we're just, we're not using black yet, but this is black that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using red of any shade. You don't have to get too particular. This is a turquoise or even blue would be fine. And then we have a warm beige here. Mommy, this tells all the colors. And brown. I know, but some people popped on a little bit later, so they're asking again. So I'm just showing them again. Is anyone for the next step? They still need a few more minutes, honey, because some people are painting with three and four kids. So some people will be done a little bit sooner than others, but 
Once the background's done, then it'll be a lot quicker to do the reindeer. The background always takes the longest. <laughs> Don't fall off your chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna care if you fall off, it's gonna hurt. So, so far, all we've just done is the background. We're not doing anything else yet. Just the background is here. Um, and we're just waiting for everyone to get theirs dry. I did kind of a look of lighter to darker. But like I said, if the kids find that a little difficult, a solid color is perfectly fine. Dry. Yeah, yours is looking beautiful too. You're ready to go. <laughs> mine's a little bit wet. Okay, so there's still a little bit shiny stuff, so I know why. Yeah, it'll be dry pretty soon. Okay, we're starting to get more duns here. I see lots of hearts and thumbs up. Like I said before, this painting will be available immediately after. So if for some reason you couldn't finish with your kids, you can go right back and just pick up from where you finished off. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put that warm beige on our plate. Well, how much paper do we have? For the background, we just did this turquoise color um, I just mixed a couple little spots with white just to make it a little bit lighter. And then we just kind of did a gradient look. Mom, how much people do you have now? Still 1,200, honey. So we're just getting that beige on our plates right now, right there. So you can put some on yours, honey. There we go. Awesome. It's a big splatter. And we're gonna use this, um, where is it? <laughs> Still getting used to the camera. A uh, small flathead brush here. You got yours ready? Okay, so what we're gonna do is right off to the side here. So right kind of in this area here, we're gonna just draw where his mouth and nose are gonna go, the area. So it's gonna be a little bit off to the side at the edge of your page. And we're gonna take our brush here and we're just gonna put it in that beige and we're just gonna draw the start of his shape of his face so I am going to hold this up for you so you can see I'll show you in a second honey okay mm -hmm. and we're gonna do like a little arch here so just kind of like this just gonna arch like that and I'm just gonna turn it this way for a second to make sure I did it big enough. So I just... Like that? Gonna arch out like that, yep. Okay, like right here? Yep, so just kinda like like that. Make that, that like color that. that in better, yep. Exactly. And if you have to help your little ones out, go ahead. Lily is only four years old, so I still help her out um, with some of the main shapes here. And then we're just gonna take it down like that. Okay, like this. Yep. So that's all we have so far. So we just did an arch like that and then we just did a really big U at the bottom to make it meet. And we're gonna color that in with the beige. Mommy, so you can use a bigger one, just make sure it's really cleaned out with that blue, because that blue is very strong. Okay.
If you don't have beige, you can put brown, white, um, a little bit of pink and a little bit of yellow will make a nice beige. And we're just coloring that in with that beige color. I'm gonna painting my circle in. <laughs> Okay, so now what do we do next, Mom? Well, we gotta wait, honey. We gotta go a little bit slower so everybody at home has time to do it too, okay? I don't know. You're just a super fast painter. I'm gonna Mom, how big my circle is. Beautiful. But what do we do with it like that? Hmm? What do we do with it? What, honey? What do we do with it? It will fit, yeah. Let's see. Is this his face? Or his mouth? <laughs> so right now we just did that circ that that shape for his face, and I'm just coloring it in. That's all I've done so far. This is just the nose here. So this is just this part right here that we're working on. This right here. Okay. This one's mine too. I draw the big one this time. No, oh, you better wash that off so you don't get paint on yourself. So what I'm just doing now is I'm just going over it just lightly just to make sure it's got good coverage. So as your paint dries, you can just, if it's not fully covered, it depends how thick your paint is. Okay, I have an oil cloth down this awful. Yep. If you want to go over again and just cover this a little bit with more paint, just so that it's not so. Yeah, and just go very lightly. Here we go. Yep, try to stay in your line, okay? So that you don't lose the shape of his face, okay? If you guys have everything that I just showed you, mm -hmm. I hope you have it. So we could paint. Okay, so so far that's all we have. So that's just his nose, where his nose will be, kind of the lo lower part of his face. Um, Tessa is wondering if the reindeer was your idea. Was it your idea? I forget. Did you say you wanted to do a reindeer? Did you say you wanted to paint this reindeer? I forget. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I thought so, but I wasn't sure. We did it a, quite a while ago, the example. Mom, this is how big my circle is. No, I know. Beige at fell or brown here. No. No. Yeah, this is an 11 by 14, this size here. So I'm just shaking up my brown. Oh, We're going to be doing, you want to shake it for me? We're going to be mixing some brown and that beige in a minute. <laughs> Mm 
<laughs> You're shaking it so much your head's falling off. Can I go yet? Yep, it's good. Let's give it a few more minutes for everybody. So this is the paint book I'm using here. It is a Canson multimedia book. It's an 11 by 14. I get mine off of Amazon. You can get yours, um, you can get them off of Amazon. I think you can get them at Walmart too, if I, if I believe so. <laughs> it does because it's an extra large. <laughs> okay. I see some people yelling at me to slow down, so just give it another couple minutes. If you're still on the background, uh, Jennifer, um, this is gonna be replayed, so you can catch up as soon as it's posted. You can just go right back to the video and just go through. Just because we are we're painting with over 1,200 people, so I'm trying to keep a pace between people being done and people not being done, but um, if for, that's why I always post a replay. That way, if for some reason you, you're not keeping up or something happened and something came up and you can't make it through the whole thing it's always it's always going to be replayed so so you can always go back and finish it off we live in ontario canada michelle Um, painting this type of paint on your clothes will, will not come off. Um, you can try some spray and wash, but it's not guaranteed. That's why we usually, I don't have an apron on today, but I have kind of an older sweater on. You can make, oh, how can you make, yeah, you can make brown with orange and blue. If you have orange and blue, you can make brown. Um, even red and green will make brown. So if you have a warm color and a cool color and you mix it together, it'll make brown. Yeah, and that's a great tip, Christina. If you have uh, more than a couple kids you're painting with, if you get a smaller canvas for them, it will go a bit faster for these events, which is a great tip. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna move on to um, just the top of his head. So we're gonna be making this shape right here. Well, it's all small. Yeah, so we're gonna take our brown and we're gonna put some on our plate. I'm not sure what you mean by marker brand, Allison, because I'm not using any markers today. I don't usually use markers for the, these paint days. You put a little bit of brown on your plate, honey. So I just have a little bit of brown on the plate there. Good job. And I'm gonna take that same beige um, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that right on top of the brown. Just we're gonna lighten that brown a bit. So you'll see there, I just put brown and I just put a glob of that warm beige in the center there. And we're just gonna take our brush and mix it together. You can mix that all in, Lily. So we're just gonna get like kind of like um, a lighter brown. It's gonna be a little bit more pastel looking. You mixing it in, sweetie? Good job. 
Here we go. Uh, yeah, so now we're just gonna do the shape. So what we're gonna do is we're just bringing his face up here. So I am gonna start, let me see where I am here. I'm gonna start right on this edge here. I'm using this small flathead brush and I'm just gonna come in a little bit and then back out around and back in a little bit. So that will be the top of his head there. Even if you just wanted to come straight up and back down with that brown, that would work fine too. And we're gonna color that in with that brown. So I'm gonna show you right now, okay? So I do? Yep, so we're gonna do, just kind of here, I'll do a light one and then you can, just like that, okay? And then you can color that all in, okay? So right now we're just coloring that in brown. And I'll go over again what I did in one second here. Okay, so you don't leave a little space here. You're gonna put, leave a little space here for the hat, okay? So before we come all the way up here, we're just gonna take and we're just gonna divide a little spot for his hat. So just a little half round part here for his hat. And we can always bring his hat up a little bit more after. But we're just going all the way up. We made just the shape of his head here. We came all the way back down, almost just like a loop. And then just a little bit down from that, we're just bringing another line across here, just kind of following that. This is gonna be where his face and his eyes are here. This is gonna be um, where his hat starts. And like I said, we can bring this up a little bit more after if you don't have a lot of space. So, so far we just have where his nose and his mouth are, then we have where his eyes are gonna go, and then where his hat's gonna go. I did, Mom. Good job, Lily, you're so super fast. And now we're just gonna color that in there, just that with that brown. So who do you think? Do you think everyone's having fun so far? No, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why don't you ask them and see what they think? I'm gonna ask them if they're having fun? Yeah, I have fun, everyone. <laughs> Say, oh, yes. If you want to take and do a little bit more brown, honey, you can. I don't really want to. You don't want to? Okay. Stop the text. <laughs> You're in the speedy hurry mess mm -hmm. today. I'm catch up. Everyone says they're having lots and lots of fun. And I'm just going to use this brush, the whale brush, to just draw a little line at the bottom. <laughs> So that's what we got so far. So it's just his, his nose here, his head, and then 
we have his hat, but we can rearrange how his hat is after. Still? 1,100 still. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that hat. I see. This is why Joel Don't worry guys about his head shape. He can look different if you guys have... Oh, he's coming along good. <laughs> good job. Mommy will help you a little bit with the ears on his hat and stuff after, okay? I think I'll get it. Okay, so we're gonna do the bottom of his body right now, although you didn't leave too much space, so we'll have to sneak a scarf in there, but we'll sneak a little scarf in between there. Okay, so when you're done doing his face, we're just gonna keep the same color, and we're just gonna draw his body in. So we're just gonna take from his neck and just go out here, and then we'll just take and go out here. So we'll just have that, and then we can fill that in as well with the brown. So see right here, miss? We're just gonna take and do a little bit for his got... body here and then do it on this side too, okay? And you can color that in, okay? You can paint it in. Like this? Yep, just paint all this part in here brown. That brown and beige that we did with his face. The brown and the beige. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did it. Like, okay, like that. Yep, just all the way down, just like that. This is the be his neck. Yep, that will be his neck and his body down here. So in order to see a repeat of this, um, once it's posted up, if you go to my page Artistic Crest, it will be under videos, or I'm going to post it up later on YouTube, so it'll be there too in my YouTube channel's Artistic Crest as well. So if you um, want to see any past painting tutorials with me and Lily, or just ones that I've done by myself, they are all the free ones are up on YouTube. Okay. Give the small thumbs up. There's small, there's small, there's small, there's small. Okay, so now we have this. Uh, it kind of looks silly with the thing here, eh? <laughs> Yes, we do have a pet. We actually have a dog behind us. He's a beagle and his name is Coop and he's two years old and he always paints with us. He lays on the bed and we paint. Mommy? He knows when we get out this table to paint that it's time to go take a nap. <laughs> oh. Do you want to keep it off? Yeah. That's okay. Oh, because it keeps falling off me. That's okay. We'll just put it back there. And this one's mine. I forgot to show you. <laughs> it's looking so beautiful. And this is neck down there. You're doing a fabulous job. Oh, 
called? Uh, J.A. Stevens says that they have a dog named Cooper. So almost like Coop. <laughs> So let's see how many people are ready to move on. If you're ready to move on, just throw us thumbs up and hearts. We don't want to go too fast. Ow. Well, this is having to sit down forever. Well, this is having to sit for him. <laughs> Heidi says they have a dog named Jasmine and they're having lots of fun. Okay, so we're getting lots of thumbs up and hearts. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we are going to get out some black on our plate. And I have a penguin and it's a stuffy. And it's blue. Mm-hmm, it's your new stuffy. There's, yeah. There you go, we can put some black on your plate there. I got it from the stall. Yeah. My mom, I don't have that much room on my plate. Just put a little bit, yeah, in the center there. I think we have almost all the colors we're going to need on our plates anyways, so. Are we going to do his mouth? Pretty soon. So we're going to be using this small detail brush here. And we're going to go in with the black and then we're just gonna draw in his nose. So I'll show you one second, honey, okay? So we're just gonna take, and we're gonna follow the shape of the top of his face. So we're just gonna go around like that and then we're gonna go down and connect it just like that. Snicky. Need a little stuffed animal, Snicky. <laughs> Perfect, Lily. Oh, you can so we just got his nose on there, and then we can go ahead and draw his mouth. And you can do his mouth any way you want. It doesn't have to be just a big smiley face. You could put. Um, really whatever you want, you can do a zigzag, you can make it however you want. But in the picture, we're just gonna make a big smiley face. So we're gonna come all the way down and go all the way back Mommy, up. Mommy, I made a different one, see? Perfect, you can show them in a minute just so they can see that. You can do it different ways. So show them yours. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll dry my thing. Well, you don't really need to yet, sweetie. It'll dry on its own while we do the other steps. The other steps. Yep. So we'll let that nose dry before we color it in red. Mommy, I'm in the second room now. Mm -hmm. I'm in and we will get our red on our plates. Well, we have red on my plate. Well, you're good to go then, miss. And we're just gonna go back and we're just gonna do the outline of the hat. So. You'll see here you left yourself a guideline on where you're going to start your hat. If it's a little bit too high, you can always start a little bit lower. Because um, paint, will, as long as your paint's dry, it will cover. So even if I wanted to bring it down a bit, for example, like this. 
And then we're gonna just draw all the way up here like that. Mommy, can you give me an owl paper? An owl one, because I want an owl then. And there's nothing left up here. Is there still that one on the floor that fell, honey? Because I don't have any more in here right now. Oh. Or if you want to go back there, there's Kleenex. If you want to go grab a Kleenex back there. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. And what? My legs. And then this is really where you have an option to do whatever you want with your hat. You can color them in solid red, or you can do like the picture back there and do stripes. Um, so really you have the option to do your hat however you want. You don't even have to do your hat red if you don't want to. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to do my stripes here just to show you. So I just have one stripe here. And then I'm just going to do one a little bit higher. Just like that. And then I'll stick the white in there after. So here, let's make your hat a little bit bigger here. Okay, so just bring what it out. What are you doing? Just out to the edge there, and then you can color it in, okay? Color it like like yeah, cover all the brown here, okay? There you go. Like that? Yeah, just so his head's not sticking out the top. There you go, perfect. Good job. And are you going to just leave yours red or are you going to do stripes? Just red. Just red? Okay, perfect. <gasps> Mom, could this stick out? Um, we gotta do his ears on this side still. I'm just giving everyone a chance just to get that step done. Mommy, I don't like this game. Here's the thing. I don't think so, miss. All right. Yep, this will be recorded for later. Everyone can watch the replay. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna work on his side of his ears here that are gonna be in that hat. So you can do these really any shape you want, but I'll show you the shape that I did. And we're still going with red, and I'm still using this flathead brush here. And I'm just going to just come out from where the hat starts and just kind of come out like this and then bring it in a little bit smaller in and then wrap it around a bit bigger. Just like that. Mom, I colored it in. It's a good job, honey. Yeah, it looks a little bit black. That's because your black was probably a bit wet still. And then same with this side here. So just come out a bit. Okay, so you can do your little ears here, honey. I'm just gonna make this one a little bit bigger so it's Mom, in proportion. I think I got it all way. So I think you don't have to help me. I got it. And I'm just gonna do the stripes the same way that I did on his hat up here. I'm just gonna color stripes on the ears. If you did a solid hat, then you don't have to do stripes on the ears. Perfect. You can color those in too, miss. This is just with red so far. Red or any color, if you want to use a different color for his hat, you can use whatever color you'd like, but we did red. Mama, he looks like a dog. Mm-hmm. See, mine looks like a dog, doesn't it? No, with his little ears like that, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, we're gonna put antlers and then he'll look like a reindeer.
So you'll see here, I just put stripes on his ears and then I'm gonna go in with and put white stripes in a little bit after we do the antlers. So we'll give everyone a few minutes just to get the ears done there. Let's see yours. Beautiful. This one's mine. <laughs> Poopy. <laughs> I think he's licking his paws. Yeah, he's taking a little nap. Poopy. Okay, so I'll show it one more time here. So, so far we just did the red. We just followed his head shape here and came all the way up. And I did stripes, but you don't have to. You can do it solid if you want, or you can put in the stripes. And then his ears, we just came out a little bit, almost like a little, like a wiggly O. And then I did the stripes on his ears too. Stop looking. <laughs> okay, so you want to do a scarf now that we have our red out still? So we'll do a scarf next. So we're gonna still stick with the same brush and we're gonna go into the red or whatever color you want a scarf to be. He can it can match his hat or it doesn't have to. <gasps> and we're just gonna come around like this. Situate here. Oh, wow. I know. They come around here, and we're just gonna draw almost like a little shape on his neck, like that. Just around like that. And we can color that in. Do you need help, Miss, or did you get it? I need help. Maybe I got it. So just like that. So you can just draw a little bit bigger. Yep, perfect. Yep, and then color it in. Yep, paint it in. There you go. Okay, now what? One second. Are you rushing me? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I think you no, are. Yeah, I'm not. It's sad. Don't. That's <laughs> <laughs> You're silly, but so we have that so far, and then we're just gonna take and put a little circle right here. So just draw a little circle. That's where his scarf is gonna tie. So you'll see there when we cover it, when we outline it in black, it'll show a lot more. But it's just a little circle right here. A little circle like that. Yep. Yep. Perfect. <gasps> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of what? <laughs> the and then we're gonna do the bottom of his scarf hanging here. So we're just gonna do like a little square down here. A little square. And we can color that in.
There's gonna be a replay, Nancy, if you didn't get a chance to do this today. So you can go under videos on my page and you can do it with your kids still. So we're gonna do a little square like this, Lily, at the bottom, see? Right. Yeah, right there, yep. Yeah. And then you color that in. And you paint it? Yeah, paint it, yeah. <gasps> And then we're just gonna bring a little bit of the scarf out here. So we're just gonna bring a, just kind of like a little roundness like that and then with an edge and then back in. And we're gonna paint that in. So those are the two ends of his scarf. So we have the one around his neck right here. And then we have the square down here. That one's coming down. And we have the little knot that's tying it all together like that, and then we have the last end right here. That's okay, we can wash them. And do you wanna do this little part of the scarf? So just bring another little piece out here. You can color that in, okay? And then as long as your nose is, is, is dry, the black is dry, you can color it in red. Or you can just do it black, whatever you'd like. But just make sure your black is dry first if you have to give it a quick blow dry, just because the black will smear inside. Is it smearing inside, miss? That's okay. We can dry it later and cover it up. I'm scared of the reindeer are so lying. Mm -hmm. Reindeers are friendly. Okay, don't hit me, honey. I'm gonna bunk my arm and it's gonna make me pink all over. Okay? That's not pink. No, it's, it's snowing now. Is it? Yeah. It might be. I don't know if it's cold enough today. Diane, if your comments are in the way, you can, sw if you're on a phone, you can swipe your finger to the right and the comments will go away and then it won't be in the way anymore. So that's what we have so far. So we just did his little scarf down here. We colored in his nose. Yeah, if anyone's comments are in the way, you can just swipe your finger on the screen to the right and the comments will go away and this the whole screen will be the painting if you're on your phone. So just let me know um, if everybody is caught up to this point. Just kind of throw in some smiley faces or thumbs up or hearts. Let me know that you are ready to move on. Just because we did quite a few steps there in a row. So I want to make sure everybody's ready. Looks like we're good here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is his antlers next. So we're just gonna take still this 
this small flathead brush here, and we're gonna go into our tan color that we have here, our, our beige that we originally put on our plates. Are you gonna do this too, Miss? You got your brush ready? No, I don't. And we're just going to do the long parts first. So for this one here, it's just gonna kinda come out to the side here. So we can start in the middle of his hat and we're just gonna bring the long one out all the way first. He's some red? No, honey, this is the beige. Oh, the beige. The beige, yeah. And I'll show you, I'll help you in a minute. And we're just gonna bring it out and kind of flip it up at the end. And then we can wrap kind of back around to kind of make it a little bit thicker there. Just gonna follow the video. Good job. And then um, we're gonna take off of this big one here and we're just gonna put in a few small ones. So there might be one kind of here coming off to the side and connect it there. And then one here and then one a little bit lower, maybe coming out this way. So as long as you start with your big main one first, then you can pick wherever you want his little antlers to be. Everybody's can be different. It doesn't have to all be the same. You can pick the spots that you want to put them. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So this one I have coming kind of on a curve up like this. Mom, look at mine. That's gorgeous, Lily. Good job. That's really good. You gonna do the other one now? Yeah. Perfect. So that one's coming up like that. Sorry, I didn't realize it wasn't in the screen there. And then I just put a little bit out here, a little one out here. A little one kind of out this way and a little one lower, just like that. I'll make it like that. Let's blow dry yours a little bit and then we'll uh, then you can put a little more beige on there so the red doesn't make it. done in about probably 10 minutes or so we're almost done we got to do his eyes mm -hmm. and then we can decorate his scarf and hat and we're done put some snowflakes in the sky and we'll all be done mommy i just want to do his eyes and his snowflakes i only want to do the decorations for his hat and his skull you don't have to honey we can all do a little bit different you can oh. use your own creativity 
Do whatever you want, miss. So the antlers are just the cream color we use, the beige. The same as his face down here. And today I'm wearing a Christmas shirt. Is it Christmas? Yeah, it does look Christmassy, doesn't it? Yeah. And it has a little reindeer. Is that a puppy? Or a I think it's just puppies. Is this a little puppy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just little puppies. And it's wrapped up in a gift. Okay. So we're going to get our white out next. If we don't have white on our plates, we can put it on there. Do you have white on your plate? No. Already? No? Oh, hey, do you have a big glob right there? Honey? Yeah, I have a big one. Yep. I do too, actually. And we're just going to go and do his eyes. So we're still using that small flathead brush here. And we're just going to paint his eyes. So we can do one coming up like this. I'm scared. One like that. And I might have to change them a little bit once I can see here. I'm just gonna do it so you can see first. And then one like this. So basically just big ends. We're just bringing big, the letter N down like that. And then we're just coloring it in. So we'll have his two eyes there. Really, honey? What are you doing? Eating. Eating what? There's no food here. I hope you're not eating any of the paints. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That would not be safe. Okay, so I'm gonna bring his eyes up even a little bit more here. Mom, that mine. I'm bringing them almost to the, well, just a little bit down from the hat. And that my mom's here. So me and Lily will be doing more paint days in uh, January. Usually a couple, a couple every month we do. We don't have the designs for them yet. If anybody has any suggestions that they would like to paint in January, you can put it in the comments. We always love suggestions. Ah, uh, yes, Vicky, there'll be a replay as soon as we're done in about 10 minutes. And then because I'm going to do my hat with white stripes too, I'm just going to do that right now. Um, if you just did your hat a solid color, then you don't, you can just keep it like that. But I'm just putting those white stripes in the hat. Ooh, a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Penguin, that's cute. The same one as me. What, honey? The same one as me. Oh, what, the, your stuffy penguin? Yeah. Yeah, we could probably actually follow that a bit and do that one. We, you could even bring it that day and show everybody your stuffy penguin and we could paint it. That would be a good idea. For, ja for January, yeah. <gasps> you excited? <laughs> I think maybe that one's a good hit, the, the penguin. It's yellow, it's blue. A butterfly, snowy winter day. I love, I will go back and look at all these suggestions after, so keep them coming. It has feet, it has arms, mm -hmm. it has a face. Yeah. Buttons. Yes. And... 
lights blue. How about confetti and balloons for New Year? That's a great idea too. There's gonna be a couple, so. And fireworks, that could be in there, awesome. A dog with a party hat. You said penguin. you wanted to do a dog, didn't you? Yeah. We could do a penguin and a dog. Yeah, there's yeah. lots of. Mom, how about a butterfly? Yeah, well, somebody already suggested a butterfly too, a snow owl, that'd be super cute. How, how about an alligator? <laughs> All right here, so. What we're gonna do now is we're just going to outline our eyes here with black. So I have my detail brush and you can do this too, Lily. And we're just gonna take and outline the, the outside of the eyes. Just watch my arm, honey. I know it's hard because I'm left-handed. So everyone bumps into my arm all the time. Same with when I'm eating dinner, everyone hits my arm. We're just outlining the eyes there. And we can put our big pupils in there too. What's your big pupils? Pupils are the black parts of your eye. Mm -hmm. So we're just following the same shape of the eye for the pupil. And we're just coming in and Drawing two of those. So same shape, just smaller ends in the middle here. And I'll hold it up in one second so you can see. Mom, mine. See, honey? Mine looks evil. The center? <laughs> it's because he needs pupils still. <laughs> so we can just color in the centers there. Valentine's. Hearts for Valentine's Day, we could definitely do in February. That would be awesome. I like it. Well, you're going to do them all black, honey? Yeah. Okay. Whatever you want to do. And then I'm just going to take and just outline his face, too. So I'm just going to go around here and outline with black. Mommy, you see I'm done. The whole thing now. Are you going to put snowflakes after? Yeah, I'm going to put it right now. Five piles in. And I'm just going to outline just in black, just lightly, just where everything is, just to kind of make it pop out. And it doesn't have to be exact. It can just be around a little bit. And I'll show you after I'm done. So we'll see here, I did the lower half of him. So just kind of outlining everything in black. And then mom. See? You gonna show everybody? That looks beautiful. Can I go? I know, do you wanna go? Yeah. You can go if you want. But, but, but how do I go? We'll just go through the, around me. Do you wanna say bye to everybody or are you coming back? I'm gonna say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody. All right. Something tells me you might be back still. <laughs> we're almost done here anyways, honey. We're just finishing up doing this, then we're gonna do the snowflakes. So I'm just outlining everything in black. His antlers here. I think she wanted to go play with her brother. That's why. That's why she left. Because <laughs> she was playing with him before we did this. So I think they're playing some Lego video game thing. I think Lego movie video games. And you can decorate your hat any way you want. So if you want to put little snowflakes on it, same with your scarf. You can do that any way you want to. I 
And now we're just gonna do some snowflakes. So you can do this different ways. You can just put little dots everywhere if you want. So you could just add little circles. Just kind of add them here and there. You can even dot with the back of your brush if you wanted to just put it in like this. Put the bottom right in the paint and just put little dots everywhere. I'm you can back. do, I knew you'd be back. <laughs> you did that last time too. So we can put little dots here and there. And then if we want to do bigger snowflakes, we can do little crisscrosses. So I'll show you how to do that. So we can do the letter T. So we start with the letter T like this. So we have a T there. And then we do an X through it. So we have T and then we go X. So X, just like that. And we can put little tiny little balls on the ends of every one of them. Little tiny snowballs. And today we have chocolate calendar. You had your chocolate calendar? Yes. Your advent calendar? You're counting down the days till Santa comes? <laughs> yeah. After when we're done all, all, all chocolates, does Santa come? Yep. Yay. So then there you go. So you can do ones like that. And you can put a couple of those in different spots. Just do an X and then a T. And you don't have to even put the little snowballs on the ends if you wanna leave a couple without. You can do that too. So there's a few different ways you can make the snow in the sky. I'm sleeping with my doggy. Yeah, Lisa, that's a great idea. If you have Q-tips, you can use Q-tips too for the for the, the dots in the sky for the snow. And I'm just decorating my scarf with little flecks of white here. Back up, honey. Back up, sweetheart. I don't want you to get your head hit on there, sweetie. Um, 1,000 still. And you can add little tassels to the bottom of your scarf. The little frayed, you know when you put on your scarf and they have the little frayed ed edges there. You can add those in. So I'm putting little black snowflakes here on my hat. Uh, last time I did little white ones, but this time I'll do black ones just to mix it up a little bit. But you can do whatever color. So even if you do those little X's and T's, on the hat, that makes little snowflakes too. And don't forget, um, when you're all finished, you can sign your name at the bottom or put your initials. Do you wanna sign your name, honey, on yours? Well, you were, didn't you took yours away, sweetie. Oh. So I'm just going to put my initials on the bottom there. I just spell your name? Yeah, I put C-A for Crystal Anger. C-A. Yeah, I don't spell out my whole name because my name is really long. So <laughs> it would just be, the whole painting would be my name. But, so, um, just so you know where am I here. Okay, i got to figure this thing out. Um, when you're all finished, if you want to... Um, send your picture through and show us me and Lily love to see them and we also like to make a little video train so if you are all done and you want to send it you can either send it through um just right on my page you can private message me or you can put it right in the comments below uh, if you want to do it that way but I'll wait till she comes back before we say goodbye but this is our finished reindeer here
you coming back, miss? I'm going to say bye in a second. And thank you so much for joining us. And keep looking for more because we're going to keep doing these into the new year. Um, probably on a Sunday. There will always be a replay available, though, if you cannot make it. And Lily, do you want to show yours one more time, honey? You going to put your name first? Yeah. Uh, Just write it small down here. I got a little bit of pink. Are you going to do... Oh, is you going to grab pink? <laughs> you're so funny. Oh, you're so funny, Lily. You gonna do your name in pink? Perfect. L I L L Y. Beautiful. Wanna show everyone one more time before we go? Yep. Beautiful work. That's a that's a keeper. We'll hang it up. <laughs> in my room? Sure, if you want to. I'll hang it up right in my room. Oh. Okay, we'll go hang it in your room as soon as we're done here, okay? So everybody have the, a great west, rest of your weekend, and thank you so much for joining us. And don't forget to send us in your pictures so we can see them. Bye! Yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye.